standard transformation is inversion where w is equal to 1 over z. So for this transformation taking z to be in the polar form so taking z as r e the power iota theta and taking w as let's say capital r e the power iota phi. So for this transformation w equal to 1 over z just put the values of z and w over here we get this as r e the power iota phi is equal to 1 over r e the power iota theta which can also be written as 1 over r e the power negative iota theta so, so that if you compare you get capital r to be equal to 1 over small r and this phi is equal to negative theta so under the transformation w equal to 1 over z a point p in the z plane having the polar coordinates r theta is mapped into the point q in the w plane having the polar coordinates 1 over r negative theta right okay suppose this is your z plane and this is a unit circle mod z equal to 1 right and let me take the point p over here with the polar coordinates r theta so this radius vector of the point p is having distance r and having this angle as theta let me take the point p1 to be as having the polar coordinates as 1 over r theta then what is op1 op1 having the radius vector as 1 over r so writing here 1 over r and what is op op radius vector this is r so writing here r so what is op1 this is 1 over r which is further equal to 1 over can i write instead of r as op yes and now taking this op to the other side this will become the product of the radius vectors and this is equal to 1 which means this p1 is the inverse of this p right let's consider the w plane to be superposed on this z plane right so i'm superposing the w plane on the z plane and for the transformation w equal to 1 over z we have capital r is equal to 1 over r and phi is negative theta right so now let me take the reflection of this inverse point so this point is having the polar coordinate as 1 over r and theta so the reflection point of this point p1 will be here let's say this point to be as q and if this radius vector op1 distance is 1 over r then this oq distance is also 1 over r yes yes and this angle is negative theta right which means this point p is mapped into the point q in the w plane this point p is in the exterior of the circle mod z equal to 1 this q point is in the interior of the circle mod w is equal to 1 which means the points at the exterior of mod w equal to 1 is mapped into the points in the interior of mod w equal to 1 now what if if the point be at the origin if the z point be at the origin so at the origin the radius is 0 so if this radius is 0 then this capital r will be infinity the origin z equal to 0 is mapped to the point w equal to infinity right so this is called the point at infinity and third conclusion now this is the unit circle having the radius 1 if the point lies on the circle then this point will be mapped onto itself 
put r equal to 1 if radius is 1 if r is equal to 1 capital r will become 1 right which means any point on the circle is mapped onto itself so the conclusions finally the transformation w equal to 1 over z maps the exterior of the unit circle mod z equal to 1 into the interior of mod w equal to 1 and vice versa which means interior of unit circle mod z equal to 1 is mapped into the exterior of mod w equal to 1. Please again see this. For z plane the point p lies outside mod z equal to 1. For w plane the point Q lies inside of the mod W equal to 1, the unit circle, right? So, first conclusion, the transformation W equal to 1 over Z maps exterior, okay. And also the interior of unit circle mod Z equal to 1 into the exterior of mod W equal to 1, vice versa, right? Second, the origin Z equal to 0 is mapped into the point W equal to infinity. And third, any point on the circle is mapped onto itself. Let's have a look over an example. Under the transformation W equal to 1 over Z, find the image of mod Z minus 2 iota equal to 2. Now given transformation is W equal to 1 over Z. Can I write it as Z equal to 1 over W? Yes, I can write. Now putting the value of Z as X plus iota Y that is equal to u plus iota v and after rationalizing i can get this as u minus iota v over u square plus v square so that if i compare the real and imaginary parts i get x to be as u over u square plus v square and y to be as negative v over u square plus v square and the given curve is mod z minus 2 iota equal to 2. Now the given curve is this mod of z minus 2 iota equal to 2. So putting the value of z here as x plus iota y minus 2 iota mod is equal to 2. So this implies x plus y minus 2 iota mod is equal to 2. Which implies, if I open this mod, I can get x square plus y minus 2 whole square is equal to 4. And if I solve this, I get this as x square plus y square minus 4y is equal to 0. So, if I uh, make the perfect square of this, I will get x square plus y minus 2 whole square is equal to which is a circle with center 0 2 this is a center 0 2 and having the radius 2 so circle uh, so the center is 0 2 and the radius is 2 we just have to put the values of x and y over here from here so we just have to put these values over here and then solve further we get the expression in u and v then we can judge what the what the transformation is in the w plane so let's put the values of x and y in this equation so this implies what is x it is u over u square plus v square so this will become u square over u square plus v square whole square plus y is negative v over u square plus v square that will become v square over u square plus v square whole square minus 4y because the value of y is negative so this become positive 4v over u square plus v square equal to 0 so this implies if you uh, take these two together you get u square plus v square over u square plus v square whole square so, 1 will be cancelled out. So, this is u square plus v square over taking the denominator as u square plus v square whole square plus 4v over u square plus v square equal to 0. So, this will cancel out with 1 in the denominator. So, this implies 
I get this as to be 1 plus 4v is equal to 0. That is, v is equal to negative 1 over 4. That is a straight line which is the required image of the given curve. So this is your straight line. If, if this is 1 unit, this is half unit, this is 1 fourth. So this will be the straight line v is equal to negative 1 over 4. So the circle in the W plane is mapped into the straight line in the W plane, right? Thank you.